in this video let's talk about the Ryan Garcia vs Luke Campbell fight. How Ryan Garcia survived and win the fight after being knocked down in the second round. And also what is the possible option for like Campbell to win that fight after letting Ryan Garcia down in the second round. The fight took place on January 2, 2021, and was a highly anticipated matchup between two top lightweight boxers. Ryan Garcia entered the fight with an unbeaten record of 20-0, while Luke Campbell had a record of 20-3, with losses to George Linares, Vasily Lomachenko, and Ivan Mendy. Despite his previous losses, Campbell was still considered a dangerous opponent for Garcia due to his experience and technical ability. In the fight, Campbell started strong and was able to score a knockdown in the second round with a left hand to Garcia's chin. However, Garcia showed his resilience by getting back up and continuing to fight. As the fight progressed, Garcia began to find his rhythm and started to land some heavy shots on Campbell. In the seventh round, Garcia landed a devastating left hook to Campbell's body, which sent him to the canvas and ended the fight. The win was a significant victory for Garcia, as it showed that he had the ability to come back from adversity and finish a tough opponent. It also solidified his status as one of the top young boxers in the lightweight division. After being knocked down by Campbell in the second round, Garcia showed great resilience and fought back to win the fight by knockout in the seventh round. However, if Campbell had wanted to increase his chances of winning the fight after the knockdown, there were a few things he could have done. Firstly, Campbell could have tried to capitalize on the knockdown by staying aggressive and pressing the attack. He had already proven that he could hurt Garcia, and by keeping up the pressure, he might have been able to score another knockdown or win more rounds on the judges' scorecards. Another option for Campbell would have been to focus on his defense and try to avoid Garcia's power shots. After the knockdown, Garcia was clearly looking to land another big shot, and Campbell could have tried to frustrate him by moving and using his jab to keep Garcia at bay. By avoiding Garcia's power shots and picking his own spots to land punches, Campbell could have taken control of the fight and tried to win rounds on the scorecards. Ultimately, however, Garcia proved to be too much for Campbell on the night, and his power and precision eventually wore down his opponent. Many people say that Ryan Garcia is no match with Davis. A potential matchup between Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis has been talked about for quite some time and it's a fight that many boxing fans would love to see. Both fighters are talented and have a lot of potential, and a matchup between them would be a great test for both fighters. In terms of who would win in a potential matchup, it's difficult to say for sure. Gervonta Davis is a powerful and skilled fighter with an impressive record of 25-0, while Ryan Garcia has also shown himself to be a formidable opponent with his speed and power. Both fighters have their strengths and weaknesses, and it would likely be a very competitive fight. However, it's worth noting that as of March 2023, Gervonta Davis is currently a world champion at both super featherweight and lightweight, while Ryan Garcia has yet to win a world title. Davis has also faced tougher opposition in his career, with notable wins over fighters like Leo Santa Cruz, Yuriakos Gamboa, and Jose Pedraza. That being said, Ryan Garcia is a rising star in the sport of boxing and has the potential to become a world champion in the future. If he continues to improve and develop his skills, a matchup with Gervonta Davis could be a very exciting fight for fans to watch. This fight is supposed to take place at the beginning of the day of 2021. Thanks to everyone joining us. Past, I would feel stronger and rejuvenated. Again to the body with the left hand goes Luke. Campbell's best weapon is his body punch. Oh, right hand, and that affected Luke. And now he's starting to sit right hand now. He sees that the left another weapon against the left hander. this for the first time. Yeah, he did extremely well. Got up, survived the rounds, doing good work for most of this. Beautiful move right there by Campbell. Pivoting away from that big punch. It wasn't a flash knockdown. He got rocked. He got up and fought back harder. 
Garcia's throwing some big shots. I think they're both looking confident. Ryan Garcia just weak. Oh, and he got caught coming Swing that hook wide. It's nice and short. That's going to catch the faster fire. Beat, beat it to the punch with timing. The possibilities are endless with a win here for Ryan Garcia. As for Luke Campbell, a win for him. Garcia, two things that you touched on. He's never been much on head movement, never been much on, because he has so, so fast hands. His hands are so fast. Power punches through round four. 42 landed for him. Always going to land more power shots. Just as I say that. Power shots right in line with Garcia's numbers under Eddie Reynoso. 45. Really haven't seen Garcia big, heavy flurry in a while. Oh, good, good. To get that power, that speed. Oh, and there's a nice little flurry for Campbell. After that knockdown. Seems like Garcia is winning these rounds. Same short right hook again. So this is a good round. Oh, he good round. Over the left hook right at the bell, and Campbell was ready to go down. That's Garcia's best punch. That it's that snappy left hook. The ropes may have kept him up. Maybe he hurt. Now it's time for Campbell to show Texas, him. and this has become an old. He's got Campbell a little bit weakened here. He's letting his hands. Campbell's corner told him, "Get your composure." Oh, basically code for survive at this point starting the round. Garcia, oh, yeah. they're pretty boys with them when they have their opponents hurt. And in between that flurry, all of them basically put their hands up, telling Ryan Garcia to relax. Don't get too aggressive. Committing to those chefs. Good cross, a right cross. This This has not been the type of fight many people expected it to be, but it has what does Campbell need to do to collect himself? Straight right hand. There's that check. Garcia tried to time Campbell coming in with that left hook. And this is not where Campbell wants to be. Oh, and he got a straight. Luke Campbell knocked Ryan Garcia down. Garcia, though, has come back like a true champ so far. Look, I think Garcia's been in control and won every set. He recovered nicely. Landed a lot of big shots. He's been very successful the first half of this fight. And that resilience, Chris, comes from, from instinct. I saw in this fight, but Campbell's showing all his boxing skills. He stayed in there brilliantly after being hot. Do you really think that Luke Campbell needs to... Reynoso saying to Ryan Garcia, you're young. The body shot. And he goes down. Bernard Hopkins knocked out Oscar De La Hoya with a vicious body shot. That body shot looked just as pretty.